Each structure in the protein databank is assigned a unique alphanumeric identifier called the PDB ID. This ID appears on the first line of search results at rcsb.org. PDB 101 resources also link to the reference PDB structures using the PDB ID. Enter the PDB ID into the search bar on rcsb.org. Each protein in the PDB has a structure summary page which provides information about the structure and links to more resources. The macromolecule section provides information about the polymers or protein chains making up the structure. This structure has two identical chains, A and B. The small molecule section provides information about all ligands and ions that interact with the polymers. This structure has two ligands and zinc ions in each of the chains. Clicking on the small molecule ID allows us to access more information about it. You can also explore the small molecule in 3D. Click on the 3D view tab to access the 3D viewer Molstar. Click on the frame icon to utilize the full browser window for the 3D viewer interface. The interface has three main panels, sequence panel, 3D viewport, and control panel. The 3D viewport shows the 3D structure. The sequence panel shows the sequence of the first polymer component. From the drop-down menu, you can access additional components such as ligands and ions. The components section lists the type of components for the structure, polymer, ligands, and ions. It also lists how the components are currently represented in the viewport. Polymer is shown as cartoon with each chain in different color. Ligands and ions are shown in ball and stick representation. Often, upon opening Molstar, some structures will have a lot of water molecules near the structure that are not relevant for your visualizations. You can hide them using the eye icon or removing them using the trash bin icon. Use left mouse button to rotate model in the 3D viewport. Use the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. Use right mouse button to move the model side to side. Click on the reload icon to center the model in the viewport. The components panel lists the current representation of components. To change the representation, click the three dots icon Choose Add Representation and select the style. Each component type needs to be changed separately. To remove a representation, click the three dots icon and go down to the representations list. Use the eye icon to hide and show the representation or use the trash bin icon to delete it. There are two ways to bring an amino acid residue into focus to observe its environment. You can click on a residue in the sequence panel or you can click on the residue of interest in the viewport. Either action will bring the residue into focus. The label on the bottom displays information about the element that is currently in focus. The component section now features the focus targets and its surroundings. Clicking outside of the structure removes the focus. Notice that you can add representations to the focus target and its surroundings by clicking the three dots icon. When you scroll over a non-covalent bond, the label on the bottom of the viewport displays its type and additional info. The small molecules can be brought into focus in similar way. You can click on the ligand of interest in the viewport. 
you can click on the molecule of interest in the sequence panel. In addition, you can use the ligand interaction button from the structure summary page. In the components section top menu, click on the sliders icon. Go to non-covalent interactions, unroll the drop down menu, and adjust your settings. Click the three dots icon next to the component you want to change the color for. Unroll the set coloring drop down menu. There are many data driven color themes available. For example, to apply rainbow coloring, choose sequence ID. Rainbow colors are applied from the first dark blue to last residue dark red for each chain. To see which color theme is currently applied to the representation, unroll its menu and click color theme. Click the three dots icon next to the component you want to change the color for. Unroll the set coloring drop down menu and choose miscellaneous, then illustrative, then access the color theme for the representation. Click on the three dots icon next to the color theme, then click the bookmark icon next to the color list to reveal the settings. You can choose different color themes from there. This tutorial shows basic application of the selections feature. If you would like to learn more advanced applications, go to rcsb.org and choose documentation from the top menu and access the documentation for Molestar. To enter the selection mode, use the arrow icon. The selection menu pops up on top. The initial selection level is one residue. Click on a residue to select it or select it from the sequence panel. If an element is selected, it is highlighted in green when you remove the cursor from it. If you want to select the chain, change the selection range to chain. Click on the chain in the viewport to select it. Click on the paintbrush icon to access the color settings. Choose the color and click apply theme. Click outside the chain to deselect it. Use the X icon to exit selection mode. Example, this structure has two chains. You only want to show chain A. Enter the selection mode. Change the selection range to chain. In the viewport, select all elements you want to delete. Use the minus sign icon to delete the elements. Delete the ions in the same way. Exit the selection mode. Now, chain B is permanently deleted from the mole star session. Example, this structure has two chains. You want to use different molecular representations for each of the chains. Enter the selection mode. Change the selection range to chain. In the viewport, select the polymer chain. Click on the cube icon to create a new component from the current selection. Click on create component. Exit the selection mode. The new component is listed as custom selection in the components panel. Now you can add representations and change color themes for this component individually. Once you are done assigning colors and representations, you can further refine your final image using the viewer rendering settings. You can change background or lighting style.
To save image, click on the camera shutter icon. Use the crop icon to frame the molecule. Be sure to adjust the resolution to your needs. Click the download button to save image. Your image will be saved to the folder set for downloads in your browser settings.